channel. I'm Rachel. I'm Nikki. And we're the Stitch Sisters. Yes, we are. Yes. <laughs> We've got a very exciting video to bring you today, which mm. I know a lot of you have been waiting for. It's the second instalment in our mystery oh. shopper series. Who's it going to be Who's this gonna time? Be? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be filming this one in multiple parts like we did last time. Yeah. Um, because first of all, we need to draw a name. We need to figure out who. Yes. And Who's it then going to be? we'll have a quick look at their website and we will We'll yes. uh, take you guys along with us so you can have a look at that. Yes. We'll place our order and then mm -hmm. when it arrives, we will open it live on camera so you can see yeah. exactly how it's packaged and we'll let you know about how quickly it arrived and all of that lovely stuff. Oh, it's exciting. So, I'm just excited because I'll get to do fabric shopping in five minutes. So yes, that's really good. <laughs> that's all she needs. That's all she needs to make her happy. <laughs> but we were really, really overwhelmed by how popular the last one was. Yes. I mean, we loved, obviously, getting a chance to shop for Sony Sunshine and, and look at her lovely and products. And Harriet um, is so lovely and she's yes. had such a good response to, to the video as well yes. and to all of you guys commenting and going and having a look at her website. So. Yes. But so we just literally, we just thought of it as a chance to have an excuse to buy new fabric yeah. each month, didn't we? Yeah. And, uh, and it just didn't occur to us that so many of you would think it was such a good idea yes. and would love doing it vicariously through exactly. us as well. So. so if you've got, we've got about 10 to 15 UK based um, independent uh, fabric shops yep. so if you know of any please link below because we'll add them all into yes. the thing and we'll just keep buying fabric yeah exactly <laughs> our only criteria is that they need to be independent so they yes. can't be part of a chain um, and usually we're looking for places that aren't bricks and mortar just places that have an online presence because it's mm -hmm. those small companies um, that we're trying to champion really yes. small businesses um, and especially yeah. independent people who are doing it from their back bedroom and things like that you know we need to support yeah, these people we do because that's how entre entrepreneurs start absolutely you definitely give them a little boost Yes, exactly. So, can we get on to buying fabric now? We can get on to buying fabric now, if that's what you want to do. Yeah. Right, so, should we get on and pick one? Oh, Let's have... Put... What are we going to do? Oh, what's this one? What's it going to be? <gasps> Material Girl Laura. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's very exciting. I'm good. I'm excited to look at her website. Have you ever been on it? Um, I think I have. I've looked a couple of times because I've seen a lot of people on Instagram. I see she's quite prolific on there. So it's um, so she's she's always posting fabrics and stuff like that. So it'd be nice to go and see what she's got at the moment. Excellent. Well, we'll come back with you when we've got the laptop fired up and we can show you what she's got. Yay! So here we are on the Material Girl Laura website. It's nice and clean. I love the big pictures of the fabric as you um, as you just come in. Yeah. And it gives you lots of information at the top there. Free UK delivery over fifty pounds. Fabrics by the half meter, and she does post internationally as well on request. Yeah, excellent. So that's quite good. Loving the parrots. Loving the parrots. <laughs> Should we see what she's got? Let's yeah. Look at the let's fabric. have a little look. We'll click on fabrics. So we'll take you through a couple of pages and then Rachel and I will go and have a proper mooch around. Mm. So first off, we she split it, which we like, into fabric manufacturer, pattern and colour and type. And I think that's what, how I like to shop. Is it the way you like to shop as well? Because I'm usually looking for something in particular. Yes, I want to know the type of fabric. That's the first thing because, yeah, yeah, like you say, something in particular. And I don't want to have to go through lots of different categories to find denim. I want to know where the denim is. And have all the denim in the same yes, place. That's exactly. how I like to shop. Yeah. So what would you like to look at? Should we look at jersey? Uh, yeah, I think... Well, let's have a look at the categories that are there because okay. for me now, I'm going into winter. I'm, I'm, it's all about the heavy fabrics. I yeah. want jerseys, I want uh, cords, I want denims, I want heavyweight fabrics. I don't want yeah. viscoses and crepes and rayons and things because unless I'm making a special occasion dress or mm -hmm. if I had like formal workwear to make, yeah, I'm not going to use those kind of fabrics as much. No, so. not as much. So there's jersey. What else have we got that's winter weight? Uh, well, scuba as well, which can be winter weight. There's yeah. crepe, which can be a heavier if you get yeah, a heavier one. Uh, twills we've got. Uh, oh, that's just popped onto the twills there. Sorry. Um, and uh, canvas. Canvas can sometimes be and a bit linen. Heavier. There's a bit of linen in there as well. Yeah. So there's a few. Okay. Well, I she also does um, organic fabrics as well, which is good to know that they're in a separate section if that's what you're yeah. looking for. Let's uh, let's have a look. Oh, there we go. No, that's fine. Have we gone in? Oh, no, satin. satin. Let's have a look in the scuba, shall we? Let's see what's in there. We like a bit of scuba, as you know. Let's find it. There we go. Oh, what have we got in here? Ooh, nice, some Lady McElroy's. Yeah. 
Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Well, it's, it's a decent price. It's the same sort of price that you'd pay mm -hmm. in most other places. So yeah. not any cheaper or more expensive. I like the brushes one. Yes. Um, but there isn't anything new there that's making me think, oh, I no. need it. No. And that is our criteria for this, isn't it? We have it to pick something that makes us go, oh. Yes. So I'm feeling, I don't know if it's cold today. I'm feeling comfy today. Let's go to jerseys. I'd quite like to make a sweatshirt, I think. Let's see if we can find some nice yes. Ooh, sweatshirt hello. fabrics. So we've got quite a few on here. Okay, yeah. Although the where her description is, it doesn't actually tell you what, whether it's a single jersey oh, or that's a good point. The cotton descriptions jersey. are a bit big, aren't they? So you can't actually see the whole description. So that's slightly frustrating because you'd have to click on it to get any more information. Yeah, so I've just clicked on this stripey one. So half meter and it's a looped back jersey. So oh. that would be... That would be useful to have that on the on the front yeah. page so you could actually see it. But that would make a great sweatshirt, wouldn't it? It's two hundred and forty it um, weight, so yep. yeah, that would it's make a good nice weight, and it's one fifty five wide. So and oh. I like the white and light blue. That's really nice, and it's seven forty nine per half meter. So that's well, not too that's bad. A contender. Yeah. Should we come back once we've made our decision? Yeah, we'll have a little mitch around, and we'll come back and tell you what we've decided. Excellent. So we're back, and we've chosen. It was quite a hard decision. Uh, there was a couple of uh, French Terries that were uh, didn't have enough in stock. Yeah, my first three choices were computers. There's no. <laughs> <laughs> so we've uh, we've ended up with. I've gone with the Lady McElroy navy crepe, which you can see at the top there, and that's a triple crepe with a little bit of stretch in it, and it's just plain navy. Uh, so I'm being very sensible because I do want to make some plain coloured separate. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking some trousers or some collots for the winter but the triple crepe should be very nice and should go with everything so yeah um, that's a good one for me yes and I've chosen a double gauze because all summer long I was thinking I needed to get some and I don't know whether it has any use for autumn I'd have to wait until I see it and feel it but it yeah. could be a drapey mm. blouse or dress or something like that mm. um but I just love the color it's described as French navy on the picture it looks more kind of what I would call electric, electric blue or blue, cold yeah. blue um so it'd be interesting to see how it looks when, when it, it turns up mm -hmm. um, so that's what we've gone for you can see how much it cost us so that's 469 a half meter for my double gauze and um, 699 a half meter for uh, Nikki's crepe and because we've spent over 50 pounds then the delivery is free but otherwise the delivery would have cost us three pounds fifty yeah um, although you can collect from her if you're local lovely so we'll get that ordered and then we will come back to you guys when it arrives. In a few and, days. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Let you know how we get on. Okay, see you later. Right, we are back. It's nearly a week later. I know. I didn't even plan. <laughs> it's nearly a week later, but our parcel arrived in record time. Yeah. So we ordered it on Thursday, Thursday afternoon, afternoon and it arrived um, very early Saturday, Saturday morning. morning. Yeah. Right before nine o'clock Saturday and morning. It has it's been we had to sign for it as well, so that's yeah. another another plus side so that you know that it's um you can track it and that kind of thing. So. Yeah. Pink packets. Pink parcels. Pink parcels are always Pink good. Parcels, a little sticker there that says Material Girl Laura. Yes. And, uh, and it feels like it's wrapped in bubble wrap as well, so it'd be nice and secure. I'm yeah. let you do the honours. Oh, you tear into it. Am I it. getting into it? Am I? Yes. There's a little hole in the back, so let me just go that way. Live on camera. Woohoo! So, so we've got an outside parcel. With all awesome. notes. And then we've got bubble wrap. Excellent. Which is good because I think that I've had, I don't know about you, but I've had those parcels get pierced before and then I've had yeah. a lovely delivery driver just dump it on the doorstep in the rain or something. And then we've got some more tissue paper. I oh, love the tissue paper. It's such a hot pink as it's well. such a hot lovely. pink. It's gorgeous. What's in there? What's and it says Mature Girl Laura. And ooh! So it says, good things take time. Aww. So Rachel, thank you for ordering two beautiful fabrics for me. I've been... As I say, thinking, thinking about, about what, what you may sew with them. I hope you love them as much as I do and have lots of fun sewing with them. I cannot wait to see what they become. More, um, Have a superb weekend. Best wishes, Laura. Yes. 
So that's nice. And then she has a hashtag that so you can use. Um, share your mates Ooh. on Instagram, hashtag Material Girl Laura. So that's nice. Lovely. And then we've got some fabric swatches as well, which is really lovely. This is a great idea. Yeah. So sending some stuff that she's got. So there's some John Caldor crepe. That's gorgeous. Look at that colour. I know, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And some more crepe, uh, some scuba. And some Lady McElroy brush strokes. That was one that you were looking at. Actually. Yeah, Lady I was Lady considering McElroy. that one. Yeah. So that's really nice, and it's um, but it just it, it it sort of intrigues you to go and have another look and see, and actually seeing the fabrics in person is really lovely. So that's all lovely. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Excellent. So you can you can open the pores. Is it my turn? It's your turn. <laughs> the music <laughs> stopped. <laughs> Stop taking your own music. Ooh, Ooh. that's my cray. Lovely. Right. So I ordered a triple crepe. There you go. Oh, it feels gorgeous. And so I bouncy. ordered a double, double gauze. gauze. Yeah. So there, there. Here is my triple crepe, and it's lovely. And it's a, it's a real deep navy blue. Yeah. Which is nice. I'll just get one layer of it up, and it's got a little bit of a little bit of stretch in it. Not too much, which is what I want because I want to make a pair of trousers or some culottes or something for the autumn. And I think that is going to be gorgeous. It is. I have to say, this is lovely quality triple crepe. Yeah. Crepe. I've used lots of triple crepe before because I think it's such a great weight for trousers, especially winter. And it's not um, see-through at all. No, it's no. not. That's um, cause it's got three layers. Exactly. So it's triple. <laughs> um, but it's just the right amount of stretch, like you yeah. say. Just enough to give a bit when you sit down. Yeah. Um, but not enough to mean that you have to size down or anything like that. But it's got lovely drape. It has. Well. It has. It's really, really lovely quality and now I need to order some <laughs> because all I can it's think of mine. is what lovely trousers this yeah I the only thing I would say is that she doesn't have she doesn't have an, an awful lot of selection of colors it was no. only like two or three so uh, Laura, I think if I was fairly... you I would get more colors in because <laughs> I would buy black and I would buy all the colors yes. so you know I would definitely buy more of this if it was available in more colors so yeah. if you can get it get it maybe. yes <laughs> and, and mine oh. here is this um double gauze um which I was thinking that I would just put away for um possibly slightly warmer months yes um but all summer long I wanted some and um and the color. thing I love about it is it's got that sort of crinkle texture that you associate with gauze um but because it's double um it's really not sheer um, no. I mean it is if you hold it up to the light but it wouldn't be on your body yeah and that means that it's got so many uh possibilities because mm. you can treat it just like a cotton yes um but you could also treat Treat it more like a voile or a lawn. It's got nice straight to it, um, but it's also it's got, got a, nice a little bit of structure. Well. Feels, feels really nice. Lovely. Feels really soft, but it does. You can feel it's got structure. Yeah, um, and it, I yeah. think it would make some really a really interesting dress. It would. I mean, it, it would lend itself well to some sort of pussy bow blouse or something that I could wear in the winter. Yes, and I might end up getting tempted to not wait. But I think the most mm -hmm. sensible option would be to wait until next spring. Yes, when I can choose all sorts of dress and um, yes. and uh, tops and, and shirts and things that yeah. it could possibly be. But it is it is a it is a transitional colour as well. Even it's not like you've gone for a pale blue. It's quite a nice kind of dusty blue. So if yeah, it's it called French navy. Yeah, it's yeah. it lovely. You know, if you did decide to do something in, in the winter time, you could wear it as a as a piece. It wouldn't look out of place. You know, like you no, know, no, you made a so. summer blouse and no, you're wearing it. No, it would look beautiful with all my. Um, yeah autumn colours it would look yes. great with mustard it would look great with bright red mm. it would look great with purple with and emerald with green navy. and nice my current obsession rust or burnt orange oh, it would look yes. beautiful with that wouldn't it so yes. So yes, I am very happy. Very happy. Yeah. Well done, Laura. It's beautifully packaged. Yes. And just beautiful fabrics. So yeah. I would definitely um, buy from you again. Yeah. And uh, we are not disappointed. <laughs> so go and check out her website. Uh, which we'll is put all the links below. Laura. We'll link it all down, down, downstairs. Yes. Downstairs, downstairs or down in the description <laughs> box, whichever you prefer. Downstairs. <laughs> so make sure you support your small business fabric suppliers as well as the big guys because yes. they really, really, really appreciate it and, um, and they do hand pick um, their the fabrics, fabrics yes. um, and it is much more of a curated collection, I think. Mm, exactly. So, who will it be next? You'll have to wait a whole month to find out. Yes. <laughs> next instalment coming in one month's time. Yay. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.